All right. <gasps> there they are. You guys, look at that. We can see our red fox in the habitat. That is so cool. No, come back. Come back, little one. All right, all right. So maybe they were just checking out the new burrow we made for them. But that is so cool, you guys. Okay, no, 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 no. You stay right there, Dodo Raptor. Stay right there and let me go ahead and see you sneaking out, I see, from the burrow. That's adorable. I also think this burrow is potentially a lot bigger than the red fox burrows normally are. And I'm still offended that we managed to have one of the foxes poop right in front of it. Like, I literally just put this here. But that is the way things go when you are actually taking care of animals in a zoo, isn't it? Uh, also, I just noticed, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I had no idea that there was like this little fake guy. I probably would have screamed if I had found him. When we were investigating our brand new challenge here at Castle Myers, my friends. And welcome, welcome back. So we are carrying on with exploring all of the things that the Twilight Pack has to offer, including some amazing castle work. Like what the heck? I cannot wait for like really, really talented people to go ahead and give me <clears throat> the the layout and floor plans to castles that even have decorations on the inside that would be amazing i mean just look at this empty tower here oh man this is so cool there's just bats all over it <gasps> Ooh! and there's even a chandelier inside of it come on this is so fun well and apparently we have aha the transformers are causing a little bit of trouble for our guests. Well, no problem. We'll just scooch those back from the road a little bit. What do they really expect when we live out in the middle of nowhere? Who knows? But they, they want what they want. Uh, oh, and wait a second. Is this a new path? Because this is really pretty. The stone slate path? Hello! Hello, darling. I don't think you and I have met because I would have been using this path the entire time. And it looks like guests are finally managing to find their way all the way down to where we have our little village where they can come see our fabulous foxes and they can also frolic with our wombats and they can look at how, you know, everybody has mysteriously disappeared and or died when it comes to our vendors. Let's add in some villagers, friends, because we need the money. All right, so... We'll do one, and two, and three, and that should take care of it. And let's go ahead and give these people some good names. And also, where are you guys going? Hello? Uh, you're, you guys are going to be in the wild wombat area? Yes, ma'am. Wild, wild wombats? Wild wombats, perhaps? Yes? Where did... Hello? Yes? Like, wild wombats? <laughs> Hi? <laughs> Would you like a shop? I'm pretty sure, are they gonna come to these shops? Can they reach these shops? They should be able to reach these shops. These look like very nice shops. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and give everybody we just grabbed names. And this is actually going to be Villager Luis, named after one of our fantastic patrons who keep all of these things possible. And then we are gonna have Villager. <laughs> this makes me feel like we're actually hanging out, you know, in Minecraft with all the villagers. But anyway, Villager Cookie Brookie. Or Cookie Brook. I always want to say Cookie Brookie. That's Lori, our amazing artist who does the art for us. Uh, and we, I lost one. I lost one. I'm gonna. Maybe it's their. I mean, it is their first day, so maybe they just need a little bit of help figuring out what's going down. But then we're also going to have Villager Colleen. So there we go. All right. Let's try assigning them to a shop, and we're gonna go ahead and see if I can actually get them to come and do the work. So, assign to shop the chief beef counter, indeed. And then, let's see, well, let's grab Luis. And Luis is gonna be at the missing goods counter. And we can give all of those things adorable new names. Um, do they need to be able to like reach them somehow? Y'all are just... My job is pretty average, wandering, normal. How about if I drop you over here? Or over there? Just hanging around. There's something terribly wrong with this setup. All right. Oh, freaking! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They were all set to be closed. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. 
All right. Well, that that explained the mystery of why they weren't actually going to their shops. But now, look at this. People will be able to come on in and they will be able to enjoy their coffee before they stroll over and visit with our fabulous foxes and everybody else. Um, we don't have any security guards or workshops or research centers. We'll worry about all those things later. For now, we need to have three different habitat species and five Egyptian fruit bats. And I am going to be absolutely batty for these bats. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the bats. Oh, look at that cute little raccoon. Oh my gosh, I love this windmill so much. Uh, but we are indeed going to be adding the bats into a, one of the new exhibit types. This thing. So this is what the walkthrough exhibit looks like. And this is where you can add in the Egyptian fruit bat. I am kind of surprised with the level of detail done to things like this whole village. That like, this is what the fruit bat thing looks like. I'm probably going to try to go ahead and uh, actually didn't this new update make it so rocks give you like a little bit more variation or something like that? Can I can I transform this very sad this very sad just warehouse? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think given enough time I could indeed try let's see uh align to surface random rotation ran random all okay okay that is really cool it might need different kinds of rocks all right give it enough time yes i think i probably could cover this thing in enough rocks i don't know if it would look very natural <laughs> but neither does the freaking giant like building uh, and I probably don't need to be spending all of our money. <laughs> I, it's just the theme of everything. It's for the immersion, friends. Like, come on, have some mercy. It's just a box. But at least we can make it an interesting box. So, let's rename this uh, walkthrough exhibit after one of you guys. And actually, Jurassic World of Fun, you are the next comment the random comment generator plucked up. And you say your birthday is October 18th. Happy birthday! I think that's literally gonna be today. Uh, and we're actually gonna go ahead <laughs> and we're gonna name this walkthrough exhibit after you. I swear I didn't do this on purpose. It's just the way that the random generator has blessed us. And we're gonna call the bad exhibit Jurassic World. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and apparently it does indeed count as a exhibit. So I was really hoping that this wouldn't be like an exhibit exhibit, but I can understand how the limitation might happen. Uh, and now you can see you can actually do management of the population for the exhibits, which seems really, really cool. But let's grab ourselves some of these bats, like Egyptian fruit bat. <gasps> there they are. There they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, who should we pick first? Okay, so let's, let's sort them by, no, no, I don't care about price. I want to see appeal. What's the fanciest of the fruit bats I can get? And we're gonna grab, we're gonna get, let's see, that listing expired, gosh darn it. That listing needs like cash money. That listing needs cash money. This is another female. I wonder what the group, like what, what kind of group scenario they can be in. So let's actually add them in. I think they just got delivered. And then let's plunk ourselves down. Hello? Do you guys need to get delivered by my keepers? Because you're very big bats? Because this is a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> wait a second! Oh my word! Heckin' heck! Is that my bat? Is that my... That's my little bat! Oh my gosh! Oh, they're not happy! Oh, freaking heck! Okay, okay! Um, ah! Okay, okay. Nope, do panic. I'm um, okay. Look, I'm panicking a bit. Oh, oh wow. Is that another exhibit over there? Yes, maybe that's for skunks. Okay, we'll look at that in just a second. Um, okay, I am panicking because apparently our exhibit isn't good for them. Social health is apparently low. How do I make it better? How do I make it better? Nectar feeder, bat box, water dish. Give me them all. Uh, okay, it's too hot. Oh my gosh, it's 102. I, I don't want to roast our little bats. 
No wonder, like, they're complaining. Like, freaking 102? There you go, little guys. Maybe even a little cooler. Even the vampire bats that I saw at the North Carolina Zoo during, like, a behind-the-scenes tour. Um, you can see them without the behind-the-scenes tour. Just we had a tour so that we could learn more about them. They had really warm, like, exhibits, but not that warm. All right. Wow. What? What the heck? Oh, that's cool. I can forgive the box for being a box now. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, pardon? Like, hang on. All right, climate's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Um, wait, what do you mean? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> You guys can't see the stars in my eyes right now, but there are stars in my eyes right now because I'm envisioning a world. Oh, like, oh, there, I freaking can get rid of those lamps so I can actually. Birds. This is how you can mimic the free flying birds. I am in shock and silence because I am so excited about this. Except for the part where I just realized I literally have nothing to grab <laughs> the exhibit with. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! Dodo Raptor, where are you going? And how did you get there? You haven't escaped at all. What the F? The like, absolute heck? What the absolute heck? Like, okay. Hang on, I have, I have, I have severely miscalculated. Wait a second. Okay, look. When you remove all the walls to your exhibit, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I, maybe I, I have made a slight error in judgment here. Um, can I, can I click on? Okay, can I please? Can I see my exhibit's Jurassic World? Can I? Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, the, the, they, they all think the Egyptian fruit bat looks so lonely. Um, okay, we'll have to work on that. Also, people apparently will run away if they notice that the fox is out. I think that's a fooey, uh, an absolute fooey. Um, I guess, can I, can I go ahead and like, I mean, you can make a solid floor. I'm going to do that just for a little bit so I have something to actually be able to see the exhibit with. However, this is awesome. This is so awesome. So, where's my- oh, there's my little guy! <gasps> Look, you guys! There's my little fruit bat! Hi! How are you? So I can get a view of the different animals. Are they all- oh my gosh, there's one, two right here. Two, and then one's on the ceiling! One's on the ceiling! Or they're on like this little standing bit right here. Look at my little bats! I am so happy about this. The Egyptian fruit bat is a mega bat living in the rainforest, deciduous woodlands and scrublands of the sub-Saharan African, Egyptian and Arabian Peninsula. So those those areas, um, not that, you know, sub-Saharan African, Egyptian, like they, they don't have the peninsula. Sorry, I said it like that. <clears throat> Uh, they are not endangered and are categorized as a species of least concern. As they may feed on commercial fruit plantations, they may be poisoned or otherwise killed by farmers. I have heard that too. 
Oh my goodness gracious. So the group size excluding juveniles is 5 to 35. They have no dominant system and promiscuous mating systems. They live up to 17 years and weigh 1.4 ounces. Oh my goodness gracious. They can start having babies of their own at 15 months old. They usually have one offspring per mating event and they can continue having them until they die. The females tend to be pregnant for four months and they will go ahead and have an interbirth period of eight months. Reproduction and captivity? Average. They live in large colonies in the wild. The social hierarchies within the colony are always changing. During the breeding season, colonies segregate into male and female groups. Uh, Egyptian fruit bats break up into male and female bachelor groups at the start of the breeding season. Breeding season lasts from April to August and October to February. Males visit females in their maternity colonies in hopes of finding a mate. To strengthen their bond and thus increase the chance of the female allowing copulation, uh, copulation the male often brings gifts of fruit for her to eat. Copulation takes place while hanging down from a branch or similar. The female is pregnant for 3.5 to 4 months and will give birth to one pup, though occasionally twins may occur. Newborn pups will cling to their mothers and are carried around by them for the first six weeks of their lives. At this age, they are strong enough to hang from the roost by themselves, where, where they remain while their mother is out foraging. Like, yeah, like six weeks? I mean, pff, come on, if you're a bat, like, imagine how much heavier that would get as week after week goes by. So weaning begins at this time and is complete by 10 weeks old when the pups begin flying and foraging for themselves. That's so cool! So no wonder they- <gasps> Did you see the little batty yawn? Okay, okay, we need more bats. We need more bats. I need more money. I need these people to start, like, giving me more money. And I, not wombats, not wombats, mind you. We need more bat bats, like actual bat bats. Okay, so let's see. Um, I, it looks like it doesn't matter if it's male or female, but we might want to start trying to find some that have decent fertility and longevity. Um, so we can try to have... Oh, heck. So we can try to have some healthier bats. Okay, so we've got at least six more, or excuse me, we've got six bats now, which means we now have at least five Egyptian fruit bats in the zoo. So hopefully they will be happy. Uh, and we need to get one more like exhibits or habitat species. Now that's what I wanna see. That's what I wanna see. My little bats flying around the place. Yes, yes, yes. I really love this. Who's flying? Like. Okay, actually, this is the best way to be able to, like, see who's... Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Hello, little one! I can make it so you look like a little free-flying bat! Yes! Okay, you're very small, so... Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, boy. If I want to... Oh, thumbnail. I want my thumbnail. Are we... This is, like, this is like playing an arcade game or something, where you're like, am I going to be able to... <laughs> Can you can you be dexterous dexterous enough? Oh 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 no 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 no! Oh, you guys, we're almost there. She's almost lined up. She's almost lined up for the perfect picture. You're gonna see her smiling little face on the thumbnail. If I can just get a little bit like this. Oh, now you see my struggle. What you guys don't see sometimes is after we finish recording, I spend forever chasing the animals around being like no 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 get in that pose get in that pose oh how perfect oh my gosh good girl be free <laughs> all right guys let's go ahead and name these adorable little bats and then we are going to be keeping our eyes on them because i would love to see how they start reproducing and we're definitely going to need to get more things for them to be able to do and to play with so we have to hire somebody who can do some research we have a vet what we don't have is a research center. Kind of remembering why those are important right now. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's go down the list. Actually, I think it might be easier to name our little bats from over here. So let me go ahead and load up the random comment generator. And we're gonna have Domel. So Domel, welcome, welcome to Jurassic World, the bat house. I hope you have a wonderful time. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have Kawa. Let's see, Kawa Ragi. Kawa Ragi, I hope that you're having a wonderful time too. I'm glad you enjoy our videos. And then we have Chunk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the fact that we're about to have an adorable little bat named Chonk. 
Chonk, I am so happy you would love our Planet Zoo adventures. And then let's see. Uh, then we have, okay, there, there we go. Then we have Caitlin. And Caitlin, of course, I'm gonna bring back the, the Green family legacy. Trust me, it's just a matter, a matter of time. We're gonna get there soon. Uh, I have big plans for the Green family legacy and they involve continuing until we have generation 10. Never fear. And Addison, welcome to Jurassic World The Bat House. And then finally, saying I love raccoons, we have Aaron. Aaron, welcome. Uh, and yes, I know sometimes the assumed gender of some names don't match the assumed gender or the actual gender of these animals, uh, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to have some fun. Also, can I upgrade? Oh, good, I can actually give these guys better quality food right now. Yes. It's going to be more expensive. We're going to need to... Oh, our little bats. We're going to need to find a way to start bringing in a bit more income, friends. But I'm so happy we have found out the secret that we actually can go ahead and you actually can take the box and you can destroy the box and set your little flying friends free. I'm seeing what I hope will one day become bird exhibits. Mm -hmm. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our batty little situation. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay... There they are, there they are. Stay curious, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye Your little ears moving every... Oh, another yawn! Oh, I'm in love.